Hello and welcome to Mint's weekly corporate roundup. Uh, this week had few of the biggest uh, companies in India declare their second quarter earnings and also saw a couple of uh, co- new corporate developments. Uh, let's start with uh, Lavasa, uh, which got uh, approval to for to go ahead for its uh, initial public offering, that is an IPO from SEBI. And uh, we have Pooja Sarkar to update us. Uh, Pooja, so what's the story with Lavasa getting the approval? Lavasa, the real estate arm of Hindustan Construction Company, had applied for its IPO approvals with the markets regulator during July. And they hadn't received the approval for the last four months. And finally, the paper has been approved. These guys are looking to raise around 750 crores against the property that they have near Pune. And earlier in 2010, the company had applied for approvals for its IPO. And they were then looking to raise around 2,000 crore. But now that the valuation has come down and, and we understand from our banking uh, sources that the promoters will offload around 25% stake to raise this capital. Thanks, Pooja. So looks like uh, after a long wait, Lavasa has finally got the go-ahead from SEBI to raise funds from the capital market. Uh, this week also saw uh, Ratan Tata invest in uh, e-commerce startup Urban Ladder and we have Ashna Amri with us. Uh, Ashna, tell us about the investment and what company is the investment made in. Ratan Tata, Chairman Emeritus Tata Sons Limited, has made an investment in Urban Ladder, which is an online furnishings and furniture company. This is Ratan Tata's third investment in the e-commerce space. Snapdeal, the online retailer, and the online jewelry brand Bluestone.com have been his earlier investments. The Indian e-commerce market is pegged at about roughly $11 billion and is estimated to reach about $20 billion by next year end. Thanks, Ashna. Uh, finally, this week was the last week when major Indian corporations uh, declared their second quarter earnings. And uh, we have uh, Swaraj with us who will take us through all these major corporations. So, Swaraj, we had three big companies, Tata Motors, Hindalco and Tata Steel declare their earnings. How were the earnings uh, for these companies? Uh, thank you, Madhra. So, beginning with Tata Motors, uh, Tata Motors second quarter uh, earnings were below analyst estimates as the company continued to struggle in its uh, Indian division with uh, very heavy uh, losses. Even though some support came in from uh, its uh, UK-based uh, Jaguar Land Rover subsidiary, which uh, turned in uh, higher profits uh, even in this quarter. Uh, on the other hand, if we move on to uh, metals, uh, Tata still reported higher profit this quarter, but this was uh, on the back of uh, one-time gain as the company continues to uh, sell, continues on its strategy to sell assets uh, amid uh, st- uh, weak demand for steel. Also, the other metal company, uh, Hindalco Industries Limited, the flagship company of Aditya Birla, reported a 78% fall in its uh, profit for the September quarter uh, because the company took a hit from a one-time provision. Thanks, Swaraj. Uh, looks like all these companies had a bleak second quarter, so it'll be interesting to see how the third quarter pans out for them. Uh, do uh, visit www.livewin.com for such updates. Thank you.